أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Those who disbelieve and turn men from the way of Allah, He rendereth their actions vain. And those who believe and do good works and believe in that which is revealed unto Muhammad, and it is the truth from their Lord, He riddeth them of their ill deeds and improveth their state. That is because those who disbelieve follow falsehood, and because those who believe follow the truth from their Lord. Thus, Allah coined their similitudes for mankind. Now, when ye meet in battle those who disbelieve, then it is smiting of the necks until when ye have routed them, then making fast of bounds, and afterward either grace or ransom, till the war lay down its burdens. That is the ordinance. And if Allah willed, He could have punished them without you, but thus it is ordained that he may try some of you by means of others, and those who are slain in the way of Allah, he rendereth not their actions vain. He will guide them and improve their state, and bring them in unto the garden which he hath made known to them. O ye who believe, if ye help Allah, he will help you and will make your foothold firm. And those who disbelieve, perdition is for them, and he will make their actions vain. That is because they are averse to that which Allah hath revealed, therefore maketh he their action fruitless. Have they not travelled in the land to see the nature of the consequence for those who were before them? Allah wiped them out, and for the disbelievers there will be the light thereof. That is because Allah is patron of those who believe and because the disbelievers have no patron. Lo, Allah will cause those who believe and do good works to enter gardens underneath which rivers flow, while those who disbelieve take their comfort in this life and eat even as the cattle eat and the fire is their habitation. And how many a township stronger than thy township, O Muhammad, which hath cast thee out, have thee destroyed, and they had no helper? Is he who relieth on a clear proof from his Lord, like those for whom the evil that they do is beautified, while they follow their own lusts? A similitude of the garden, which those who keep their duty to Allah are promised. Therein are rivers of water unpolluted, and rivers of milk, whereof the flavor changeth not and rivers of wine, delicious to the drinkers, and rivers of clear-run honey, therein for them is every kind of fruit, with pardon from their Lord. Are those who enjoy all this like those who are immortal in the fire, and are given boiling water to drink so that it teareth their bowls? Among them are some who give air unto thee, Muhammad, till when they go forth from thy presence, they say unto those who have been given knowledge, What was that he said just now? Those are they whose hearts Allah hath sealed, and they follow their own lusts. While as for those who walk aright, he addeth to their guidance and giveth them their protection against evil. Await they ought save the hour, that it should come upon them unawares? and the beginnings thereof have already come. But how, when it hath come upon them, can they take their warning? So know, O Muhammad, that there's no God save Allah, and ask forgiveness for thy sin and for believing men and believing women. Allah knoweth both your place of turmoil and your place of rest. And those who believe say, if only a surah were revealed, but when a decisive surah is revealed and war is mentioned therein, thou seest those in whose hearts is a disease looking at thee with the look of men fainting unto death. Therefore, woe unto them. Obedience and a civil word. Then, when the matter is determined, if they are loyal to Allah, it will be well for them. Would ye then, if ye were given the command, work corruption in the land and sever your ties of kinship? Such are they whom Allah curseth, so that he deafeneth them and maketh blind their eyes. 
Will they then not meditate on the Qur'an or are there locks on the hearts? Lo, those who turn back after the guidance hath been manifested unto them, Satan hath seduced them, and he giveth them the rain. That is because they say unto those who hate what Allah hath revealed, We will obey you in some matters, and Allah knoweth their secret talk. Then how will it be with them when the angels gather them, smiting their faces and their backs? That will be because they followed that which angereth Allah and hated that which pleaseth Him. Therefore, He hath made their actions vain. Or do those in whose hearts is a disease deem that Allah will not bring to light their secret hates? And if we would, we could show them unto thee, Muhammad, so that thou shouldst know them surely by their marks, and thou shalt know them by the burden of their talk, and Allah knoweth your deeds. And verily we shall try you till we know those of you who strive hard for the cause of Allah, and the steadfast, until we test your record. Lo, those who disbelieve and turn from the way of Allah and oppose the Messenger after the guidance hath been manifested unto them, they hurt Allah not a jot, and He will make their actions fruitless. O ye who believe, obey Allah and obey the Messenger, and render not your actions vain. Lo, those who disbelieve and turn from the way of Allah and then die disbelievers, Allah surely will not pardon them. So do not falter and cry out for peace when ye will be the uppermost and Allah is with you and he will not grudge the reward of your actions. The life of the world is but a sport and a pastime and if ye believe and ward off evil he will give you your wages and will not ask of you your worldly wealth. If he should ask you of it and importune you ye would hoard it and he would bring to light your secret hates. Lo, ye are those who are called to spend in the way of Allah, yet among you there are some who hoard. And as for him who hoardeth, he hoardeth only from his soul. And Allah is the rich, and ye are the poor. And if ye turn away, he will exchange you for some other folk, and they will not be the likes of you.